Good morning, boys and girls. It's Friday. That means we have a new fight to do on Global. Today we're going to be doing Rats from the Gutters. And the parameters for this one is no items, evoke Ethrit, and defeat Terror Rat with magic. Um, originally I did this without bringing a friend unit. So I'm just going to bring a friend this time just to move the fight along a little bit faster. Uh, it's not paramount for your success, but I'm just going to do it. Cut down some turns. I think I'm just going to take this Cloud. Cloud's a nice generic finisher. There should be a lot of them on your friends list right now because of the banner and the event that's going on. So anywho, let's get to my gear. Ayaka's main purpose here is to remove stop from our units. The boss has a chance to stop units every round. It's an AoE stop. It can be very detrimental. I would definitely figure out how to deal with that raid mechanic first before anything else. Warrior Light is here to do some evade tanking. He's got Phoenix TM on for paralysis immunity or just immunity to everything. And he's got Genji Shield on because the boss does uh, death. And since he's going to be taking all the physical attacks, you want him death immune because the boss does that also multiple times around. Uh, Lid's here for her limit burst and general breaks on the boss. That's about it. Lanera is here to chain. There's that. And our cloud. I didn't really look at his gear. He's got. He's really well geared. That's about best in slot for him. And make sure you have Ephrid equipped. You don't want to forget that. Alrighty, here we go. Okie dokie. We're going to have Ayaka put out a couple of re raises just to be on the safe side. Warrior Light's going to AoE cover. Lid's going to break the attack and magic of the boss. I'm not really sure what his um, spellcasting pattern is, but I don't want to get hit by any spells and take a risk on losing. And we'll get our Linares ready to chain. And get our cloud ready to cap. Bomb hazard. Set them off. And go ahead and hit cloud. Good deal. After his after the first turn, he's gonna put a uh, attack and magic buff up on himself where he takes less damage. And as you can see he used stop. So we'll go ahead and and have Ayaka take care of that. Thank you, Ayaka. We'll get our chainers ready to go again. And our finisher. Bam. There we go. Good deal. Lid's all, Lid should have a limit burst after this. Defend with Warrior Light. Now we can get in doing some damage. The big the big thing to watch out for in this fight is if he does stop and his AoE paralysis in the same turn, that could really ruin your day. It happened to me on my first clear. I'll go ahead and use Lid's Limit Burst. Let's watch this. Super hot. Bam. Now we're ready to do some damage. We get our chainers ready to go. Cloud ready to cap. There we go. That's what we're talking about. We'll refresh our cover. AoE paralysis. Good deal. We got our Esper. And Warrior Light countered like 9,000 times. Holy fuck. <laughs> He's pissed, boys. <clears throat> Alright, we'll use the Seneca. 
takes care of the paralysis on lid. Summon Efrit for our mission parameter. We'll get Alterna ready for the kill with magic parameter. We get our trainers ready. We we'll skip Efrit. Nobody cares about you, Efrit. And I could go with Cloud's Limit Burst, but I'm not going to do that. Go ahead and get Alterna started. Get our trainers going. Finish. Bam. All missions. When I just took my team with only five units, it took me nine rounds to get it done. All missions. As you can see, the chainer speeds it up quite a bit. The main things is having a way to deal with, with that stop. Stop can really ruin your day. Three star Lakishmi win. And a way to remove the paralysis. You can immune it with gear, or you can just use a Seneca and remove it, whichever way you want to go about it. The reason I use Lanera as my chainers is because I thought it was going to be an exploration, so I was going to take her to that, and it turned out it wasn't an exploration, so you know I could have used a little bit better quality chainer, but I already had her set up, so I just went with it. Um, Lid's breaks are probably a little overkill for this fight. The, the boss really didn't do any um, big time damage with me, uh, magic wise, and since I'm using an evade unit, the physical damage was negligible. Uh, if if you don't have a set of physical evade gear, I strongly urge you to put that on your first and foremost thing to do in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius because it's literally future proof. It's like true double hand. You're always going to need it. It's always going to work. It's Really, it's the most effective trust mastery farming that you can do. Probably wouldn't use any Moogles on it if you know, you're really early in your account, but anyways, get it. And I'm going to probably link Senzar's clear video in my description. He normally does it with a budget team. I don't know if he's quite got it finished yet, but anyways, as soon as he gets it up, I'll drop it in my description. You can check that out. Senzar's a really cool guy. He always does the fights with a, a really crummy team. So, you know, if he can get it done with a crummy team, I know you can get it done too. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.